Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. Uh, I got my painting clothes on today, so I'm going to do a little bit of oil painting. Um, I had a request for some oil painting. I also had some requests to do some cooking videos. Um, I'll do some cooking videos after I get my soybeans planted. Um, it's been raining uh, the last couple days. We've had rain during the evening. Uh, it's been nice during the day, but rain during the evening. Uh, it's supposed to get up to 73 degrees this afternoon here in Wisconsin. And uh, this weekend we're supposed to get some more rain, uh, but then after that I think I can go out and get my soybeans planted. So anyways, I'm going to do a little oil painting today. I'm not going to finish it. Um, I'm going to just kind of show you different stages of it. I'm not going to videotape the whole of me painting all of it. And I'm going to paint it probably over the next two or three days. Um, I use, sometimes I do it all at once, uh, what they call Ala Prima painting. Uh, and then sometimes I do it in layers uh, over a period of time. Um, I've seen the, my first painting was in a layer painting and I think that was my favorite painting. So I'm going to try to get back into that. I think it's because I take more time instead of trying to rush all at once and get a painting done all at once. Um, until I get more practice, I'm a very, uh, very uh, amateur painter. Uh, and you can see, I'll show you some of the paintings I did and some of the oil pastel drawings I've done. I haven't got very many of them. I've only got, I think, uh, six oil paintings, if I remember right. And so I'm a pretty, pretty amateur at it. But for some reason, people seem to like watching me paint and stuff. And uh, that's, that's my whole objective is to get people that don't paint to get them started and make them feel comfortable and make sure that they know that it's not, uh, not bad to make a bad mistake and uh, you got to work yourself up. Uh, uh, if it don't work out, just paint over it and redo it again, you know, just until you get one you like. Um, so anyways, uh, this is just all about having fun and uh, getting people interested in art. And hopefully I can do that because uh, art's a great thing and uh, I wish I had more time. That's my problem and I'm always rushing. Uh, and that's where I do my worst work is when I rush. Uh, when I got my time, plenty of time and can just concentrate, uh, I think anybody could do a good job if they uh, just put their mind to it and concentrate. So I'm going to, before I get started painting, I'm going to show you some of the paintings I've done so far, uh, which I'm saying is not very many, you'll see. So I'm going to turn this camera around here real quick so you can see them. Okay, uh, that's my uh, first painting, the one right there in the center. Uh, and that was my favorite painting of all. Uh, I really liked doing that one. That was a fun one to do. Um, I don't remember exactly the order of the rest of them. I can kind of guess here. Um, I believe this is my second one. This was a gargoyle painting. Uh, it's actually in my flower bed outside in my yard. I still actually have it. And uh, that was just a gargoyle painting in my flower bed. Um, then I went, uh, I can't remember. I think I did this one next. Uh, this was just a windmill painting, kind of a Dutch theme. Um, I always had, a, I always liked windmills and stuff like that, and tulips around the windmill, um, birds flying and stuff. I just, I like that one. Uh, as you can see, my barn's a little funky there, but barns do that over age and time. They get kind of funky looking. Some of them almost kind of falling apart. Some of them nowadays, but so. Um, this one I just recently did, uh, and the reason I did that is, uh, because of what we got going on now, and I hung it in my front window of my house, uh, called a happy heart, so, just did that to put some cheer on people's faces driving by, and, um, this was another one I kind of liked, got the trees in the background and the water wheel and the old building, um, and, uh, I think that's pretty much of my oil paintings. I got, well, I got one more over here, which I recently, just recently did, which was an abstract, I guess, kind of. Almost looks like roots going into the ground. Uh, that was a kind of a fun one to do. And the rest are all oil pastels. Uh, cactuses with birds flying over, and I don't know what you call that. It's just different shapes, trees, and... That's kind of an abstract one, I guess you'd call it. Then you got the old chicken sitting on the other side of the fence with the old coyote waiting under the full moon, waiting for his dinner. So that's pretty much uh, 
my uh, art right there and I, as you can see I don't have a whole lot uh, but hopefully in the next few years I can increase that and uh, get a little better so I'm gonna start painting and I'll be right back with you Just kind of color the canvas a little bit. Alright, I kind of like how that turned out. I'm just going to let this dry and then we'll come back and continue on.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, I didn't get back to it the next day. This is actually two days later. Um, I kind of decided what I'm going to put in there, I think. And unless something doesn't turn out, it might turn into something else. Who knows? But um, I'm planning on putting a little cabin like over in here somewhere, something like that. Uh, I cut this out. I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this on where I want to put it and I'm going to trace around it uh, with a sharp point of my um, uh, knife like that, my uh, painting knife, and um, kind of mark where I think I want it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, up in here in the sky, I'm going to put a hot air balloon, and it's going to be the balloon. And uh, I'm going to cut a little basket underneath it. And um, in those two areas, I'm going to scrape the paint off that's there as much as I can. And then I'm going to paint it with a solid background color. I think the cabin might be either a really, really dark brown or a black. And I'm not sure about the, <coughs> the balloon yet. I'm thinking maybe a white, possibly. And then uh, the basket will probably be... A, Probably a dark, dark brown or something like that, too. Uh, and then uh, we can put the logs on the cabin and stuff after that, and the little spaces will be darker. Um, and then I can color in the colors of the balloon. I'm going to use, um, uh, let's see, what they called? Liquin, the original liquin on it. So hopefully it'll dry quicker so I can get. Uh, moving on with it to do the final colors. Um, so far, I like it. I got a little smudge on a tree here, I noticed, and a little smudge up here in the clouds I got it fixed. That's no big deal. Uh, it's kind of a nice thing with uh, oil painting. It takes forever to dry, so you can fix stuff up like that. Um, so hopefully I don't mess it up. This is kind of a new thing I'm trying by cutting these in, uh, making it out on pieces of paper first. So I'm not going to videotape this because it's going to be, I'm going to be kind of, I'm going to actually take this off and work right down here on the desk with it more. Uh, so when I get that all done, I'll be right back with you and show you how it turned out. Okay, that went pretty uh, easy. It wasn't too bad. Um, kind of doesn't look like a cabin right now, but when you put this like right next to it, that's what it's going to look like. And then I'll probably end up maybe putting a chimney on top of it, have a little grass growing up around the edges a little bit. And I was going to make this look like a, weave, a woven basket. Um, and then put some lines connecting to the balloon. And then the balloon will have different colors. I'm not sure exactly uh, what pattern I'll have. Probably long stripes coming down, different colors uh, like that. And... Uh, We'll see where she goes from there. Uh, probably end up having a door in the front of the cabin and a couple windows like that. And maybe have just a little path coming out of there. Uh, but we're getting close to the end. So I'm going to let this dry overnight. And this part here should dry pretty fast because that liquid, liquid uh, original makes it dry pretty fast. And then we can paint over there again and get the colors in there and get the logs on there and the strings on the balloon and stuff. And uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool when she's all done. So we'll uh, catch you tomorrow. I'll continue this on tomorrow. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to start putting some logs on the old uh, hunting shack here. And uh, this is the first time I've ever made logs and uh, to put on a building. Um, so we'll see how it works. Uh, I'm going to make this side a little bit lighter than this side. I'm going to have the light coming from this side. Uh, that's the plan. So uh, we'll see how, go how she goes. I'll do a little bit and then I'll cut out and then I'll uh, come back because it'll be way too long of a video if I don't do that. So we'll see how it works out.
Okay, I'm pretty happy how the log cabin turned out. Um, there's a couple of spots that look kind of white on the picture, but it's actually just gloss shining from the light. Um, let me see, I think I can shut this light off and that kind of takes some of them spots away. But um, when it dries, it's going to look pretty good. Um, but right now I'm going to go in and cut cut a doorway, an entranceway in there, and uh, a couple windows in there. And uh, then after I get them cut in, I'll put a little trim around the outside edge of the windows. And uh, then I'll go on and put on the roof. Okay, it didn't go too bad. You can uh, see where I scraped the paint off underneath a little bit. Um, but after this dries, I'll touch up the windows and uh, um, I think it'll look pretty good. So I'm going to put the roof on right now and then after that dries later on, I'll maybe put a little chimney on there. Uh, so I'm going to go on and do the roof right now. Okay, I did the roof. I just kind of dabbed it on with a brush. Um, and then I uh, touched up the windows and the doors with some black paint and I put a little pathway in there. So uh, now I'm going to make the basket on the balloon. I'm going to kind of try to make it look like it's woven, like a woven basket. Uh, but we'll see how it turns out. Maybe it'll just be one solid color. I'm not sure. Depends on if it works or not.
Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I put a little attachment strings to the balloon and uh, now I'll, uh, I'm going to wait a little bit, just a little bit for that to just kind of set up a little bit and I'm going to start on the balloon. Well, this is what I got so far. Um, I have to uh, kind of hold myself back. I just get too rambunctious. I just want to keep going and going and going. Uh, but anyways, this is, I got to stop now. Um, sorry I couldn't film some of it because it was kind of too close. I had to concentrate up close and just couldn't get the camera in there when I'm right over the top of it like that. Um, but anyways, I got to wait for this to dry and come back and do a little bit of the grass around the edges of the cabin and make it look like it's been there like it didn't just drop there from outer space and uh, put some uh, closer up vegetation and stuff in there um, but other than that um, pretty close to being done I don't know I might uh, make one or two of the windows in the cabin uh, kind of yellow kind of look like a candle's burning in there or something like that uh, I'm not sure yet uh, but so far I'm pretty happy with it got a little guy a little person in the balloon there you can see um kind of holding on to the edge as they're floating across the sky and so i'm gonna let this dry and i'll be right back with you okay i'm gonna try to wrap this painting up today uh today is actually wednesday i thought i'd be planting soybeans by now but the weather hasn't been working out too well for me uh, it rained quite a bit and uh, it's almost ready. I thought I'd be planting today, but I went out there and it's still a little too wet There's two little windows on the side of the cabin I'm gonna try to make it look like there's a candle burning in there, but just a little bit of light um, But I'm not sure I've never done this before like I said, I'm new at this so we'll see how she turns out I'm using some liquid and fine detail, which is also new to me. I've never used the fine detail stuff So we'll see Want to give the impression of a candle burning in there. Pretty good with that. Um, I think I might take my palette knife and uh, make little window frames in there, some cross hatches. my detail brush. Okay, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna put a little bit of grass around the edges of the cabin and a little bit of closer up grass here. Um, see how that works. Not real happy with the brush that I used to make grass. I think it's a little bit too stiff, but we'll see. I'm going to try it with this 
uh, liquid um, fine detail and see if that makes it flow any better and makes better grass here. Okay, I'm okay with that. I do think I want to get a softer fan brush if I can find one. Okay, I'm uh, pretty much finished with it. My uh, camera memory got filled up and so now I'm switched over onto my SD card. Uh, so some of that didn't get recorded. Uh, me putting in some of the wild flowers around there and uh, touching up the evergreens in the back. But it was nothing too important, so... Just wanted to show you this is going to be the finished product. So here we are. It's more of a straight head, straight on view so you can see it a little better instead of off to an angle. Got a little glow on a couple windows. Looks like some lights are on in there. And a few little wildflowers growing around there and a little bit more grass up closer. Um, I'd have to say maybe this might be my favorite painting so far. So anyway, I'm going to turn this camera around here quick and say goodbye to you. So anyways, I want to thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. And at the beginning of the video, I showed you some of my paintings, and I actually forgot a couple of them. Uh, one of them I can't show you because I gave it to my cousin. Uh, it was a clown, but it is in my uh, videos. Uh, I got it separated by art, and it's in there. So if you want to see that one, that was just kind of a goofy one. Um, but this is another one that I did. This was uh, inspired by Bob Ross. I kind of followed his instructions and did this one. Uh, so I did do um, more, like, more like eight, and this would be, I think, my ninth one. So anyways, I'm going to end this video. It's long enough now. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll catch you on the next Wisconsin Greg Show. Bye now.